There was one Muslim country in which the Universal Israelite Alliance had no presence, and that was Algeria, which had been a French colony since 1830. In reality, the French government had simply annexed the occupied areas, dividing them into three administrative departments that were considered to be an integral part of France. There were two categories of people living in the colony, French citizens who came from France and the so-called natives who did not have the same rights. Algerian Jews were considered, like the Muslims, to be natives, a situation that was unacceptable to Adolphe Crémieux. Pour Adolphe Crémieux, euh, il ne faisait aucun doute que le meilleur service que lui, Crémieux, pouvait rendre à sa communauté juive, c'était de les transformer en français. Pour Crémieux, comme pour tous les juifs de France, la France, la culture française, la société française, c'est tout ce qu'il pouvait avoir de mieux sur cette terre. There was just one problem. The Jews of Algeria did not want French nationality because they were unwilling to give up their religious laws. In 1870, Crémieux, who was Minister of Justice at the time, issued a decree proclaiming all the Jews in the colony, who were not consulted in the matter, to be French citizens. He called himself the Yahweh of the Algerian Jews, having brought them out of the darkness of their native condition into the light of citizenship. Le décret Crémieux a opéré quelque chose de symbolique, c'est-à-dire qu'il a fait basculer les Juifs d'Algérie du côté des dominants. Les Juifs ne sont plus des indigènes, alors que c'est des autochtones qui passent du côté des dominants, qui passent du côté français, du côté du pouvoir, même symbolique. Et puis, les musulmans qui restent enfermés dans le code de l'indigénat. Là, il s'est opéré quelque chose de grave.